Hey there! Nothing beats a good story, right? And for any story, timing is an absolutely crucial element. You really need to make sure everything you put forward is correctly aligned and placed in the right order for it to really have an impact. This is true for games just as much as it is for books and movies. The case is even truer if the game has a political or historical storyline. And one of the best examples of this out there is Call of Duty. Arguably the best first-person shooter game out there, Call of Duty definitely has a very complex and perfectly built-up storyline. The backbone of that is its carefully designed timeline that gives the entire series an overall context. Today, we are going to be looking at the chronological timeline of Call of Duty. Keep watching till the end. The game's release dates within the franchise do not correspond to its chronological timeline. However, the individual subseries, such as Modern Warfare and World at War, are loosely connected but greatly integrated within themselves. So, first off, we have Call of Duty World War II. As the name implies, the game is based on the Second World War and follows events that are loosely based on actual events of World War II, of course, with the necessary dramatization. Players take the role of Corporal Red Daniels, who is part of the 1st Infantry Division of the U.S. Army. The story really has very little fictionalization except, of course, the characters themselves. The motive is, of course, to defeat Nazi Germany. The time is around the 1940s. Subsequently, Call of Duty Finest Hour is also based on the Second World War and is also based on the 1940s, however, towards the end of the war. The main difference in terms of the story is how it captures the war from three different fronts. Players play as Alexander Sokolov of the Red Army on the Eastern Front, on the Western Front, players largely play as British Commando Edward Carlyle. On the African Front, players fight as U.S. soldier Chuck Walker. Call of Duty World at War also follows a similar multi-fronted campaign on the East as Soviet Private Dmitry Petrenko and on the West as U.S. Marine Private C. Miller. Call of Duty 2 is also based on the Second World War and players are once more taken through the events of World War II. COD 2 also sees the players fight at three fronts. The Soviet Eastern Front has players play as Private Vasily Kozlov. The British Front has players playing as Sergeant John Davis in North Africa. And for the American campaign, players start at D-Day as Corporal Bill Taylor of the U.S. Army Rangers. Call of Duty 1 also has players play through the Second World War as three distinct individuals, U.S. Private Martin, British Sergeant Jack Evans, and Soviet Corporal Alexei Ivanovich. Call of Duty 3 starts at the absolute last period of World War II and is based largely on the Battle of Normandy and the major battles that ensued. Three campaigns, all on the Western Front, mean the players play as U.S. Private John Nicholas, British Sergeant James Doyle, and Canadian Private Joseph Cole. Finally, the last Call of Duty game to focus on World War II is COD Big Red 1. This is also based mostly on the final parts of the war and has players control U.S. soldier James Culver. Interestingly, the major battles that Culver fights are more than just infantry missions, incorporating both tanks and aircraft. In terms of a chronological timeline, the next in line is Call of Duty Black Ops. Black Ops, as a series, is exclusively based on the Cold War and the major U.S. wars and battles fought within. Black Ops 1 has players participate in Cuba circa 1961 for the Bay of Pigs invasion as CIA operative Captain Alex Mason. Subsequently, a player also controls other characters of the CIA. Black Ops 1 also goes on to include a number of battles from the Vietnam War. A significant part of the story, however, is based on dramatic and fictitious scenarios, including breaking out an operative from jail. After Black Ops 1, Black Ops Cold War follows up with the Cold War story, greatly inspired by actual events. 
As CIA operatives, Black Ops Cold War picks up behind Alex Mason, this time investigating the Iran hostage crisis in 1979. The endings are variable and depend on the player's choices. Black Ops 2 picks up once more from Alex Mason, this time in the late 1980s, somewhere around 89, when the Cold War is drawing to an end. The events are influenced by the height of the Angolan Civil War and the South African Border War. And finally, we move on to Modern Warfare. Call of Duty 4, alternately named Modern Warfare, brings players to an all-new era of warfare which has its events based on highly fictitious stories. The game started in 2011 when ultra-nationalists sparked a civil war in Russia. Meanwhile, a coup and extremist anti-West governments rise in the Middle East. Players fight in the boots of SAS Sergeant John Soap McTavish as well as U.S. Marine Sergeant Paul Jackson. Players also briefly follow through as Lieutenant Price, who is Soap's captain, in 1996 when he was tasked to assassinate notorious warlord Imran Zakayev. Modern Warfare 2 follows the events of COD4 Modern Warfare. Somewhere in 2016, the ultranationalists gained control of Russia. In a false flag operation, they maligned the U.S by blaming them for a terror attack at the airport. Subsequently, war almost erupts, and players must fight to defend the U.S. and uncover this treacherous scheme. General Shepard of the U.S. Army is also involved in the mischief and ends up getting killed by the player. Modern Warfare 3 picks up after Modern Warfare 2. Players witness continued chaos throughout the hypothetical World War III situation that has emerged following the stories of Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2. This time, Soap and previous protagonists are injured, and players control Yuri, Nikolai's finest resistance soldier. After a couple of twists and turns, players must rescue the Russian president and kill Makarov, the new leader of the ultranationalists stopping World War III in the process. Call of Duty Ghosts is set in the near future, somewhere estimated to be around the 2020s. After the entire Middle East is destroyed by nuclear blasts, South American oil-producing countries ally and gain great power, eventually invading Central America up to Mexico. Subsequently, ghosts, a clandestine U.S. Special Service, fight behind enemy lines to break their influence. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare follows in terms of a chronological timeline, based in 2054. Based in the Far East, U.S. Marine Private Jack Mitchell works to help prevent a North Korean invasion of Seoul. Subsequently, Chaos emerges from a series of interlinked events that work their way through East Asia, all the way into the Middle East. The storyline for Advanced Warfare itself is very complex and deserves a video of its own. However, the events move ahead into 2061. Subsequently, we have Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 is based around the year 2065 almost 40 years after the events of Black Ops 2. A third Cold War is raging between the Winslow Accord and the Common Defense Pact, two worldwide alliances. Particularly interesting facts about Black Ops 3 are that the two powers locked inside a Cold War are actually non-existent, which means the storyline is based on unrealistic events. Furthermore, the game also has a very heavy focus on advanced military technology, such as robotics and cyborgs. This is an ode to the placement of the game's scenarios as events of the future. And finally, we have Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. The game is based in the far future, arguably towards the end of the 21st century. And the game's focus on the future is so intense that we are talking about humans colonizing other planets. Of course, the story is much more detailed than that, 
but for the context of this video, further information is really irrelevant unless a follow-up is made. One thing that is important to mention is Call of Duty Vanguard. The newest addition to the franchise is also based on World War II, primarily 1942 and onwards. However, since the game only recently came out, any further information will count as spoilers, so go ahead and play it for yourselves. Well, that is about it. We had to skim through a lot of details to make sure the necessary information fits. However, if there's anything you would like to know, feel free to ask in the comments. Leave a like and hit the bell icon for more. Till then, see ya!